Okay, here we are with Master Books, Applied Engineering Study of God's Design in Nature. And I wanna give you a look inside this curriculum today. It is more of a middle school, junior high science. It does say seventh through ninth. So let's take a look inside and see what this curriculum entails. Hi, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm a homeschool mom of four boys. We've been homeschooling. Um, this is our 15th year and I actually have graduated too. So I have a fifth grader and a 10th grader this school year. We are not using this curriculum because it is a middle school science and I don't have one that age, but we have used this and I actually have another one over here set aside that I'm going to give you a glimpse at. Also, that is meant for seventh through ninth. But I wanted to share this applied engineering. My son that did use this actually only used this one book, but I wanna give you a look inside and a little details about it if you are not familiar with it. And I do wanna share something with you that I just found out, I did not realize. And I will share that with you at the end. Maybe you will already know about this curriculum. This is applied engineering. Explore the intersection of science and God's blueprints for the life in this remarkable science course. I'm reading out of the catalog, yes. <laughs> okay, it says it's a junior high students will be studying examples of God's incredible design in nature and discover how his design has inspired man-made design. And that's pretty much what it is. And I'll give you a look inside. These are the books, Men of Science, Men of God, Discovering Design, searching out the creator's secrets and made in heaven. So let's look inside this. And as we go along, I'll share a look inside these books. Also, this says it's the teacher's guide, but it does include the student worksheets and the answer key and all that. Let's look at this first page and I'll show you. I really appreciate this because it gives you permission to make copies. So that is why I have some loose pages in here because when my son did it, I just pulled them out and made copies and kept them in case I decide to use it again. And then we open up to some more information, the table of content. Here's a course description that you can read through. It also has um, instructions for a research paper. So this book here, it says, before the end of this course, a student is required to write a research paper on an inventor of men, and, men of science, men of God. So, from my understanding, you're to read this throughout the year and write a research paper on one of the inventors, which this is not a real thick book, but um, I do also want to mention that I do have a 2022 catalog and this book looks different, but I have been told that they're exactly the same. This book has been around for a long time. So, all right. So that is how that book is used. All right, then we get into the suggested daily schedule. It gives you what to do day one, day two, day three, day four. And most of it is four day. I notice there's one over here that's three days a week. Um, you can give a due date, you can give a grade can use it however you want if that's helpful to you like this because it is independent you can pull these out and copy them I think I didn't pull them out but I did copy them put them in a notebook with the student worksheets and just handed it to him with the book to read and that worked out great for us at that time so and these are split up into nine week increments so there's four nine weeks this is the book that you will look at the first 18 weeks so the first half of the year i'll give you a little look inside okay you'll just be reading that there's questions and answers i'll show you a student work page in a minute there are quizzes and i noticed the first quiz is actually over chapter one and two but it's not until week six I'll show you those in the back of the book. But this book will not start until after halfway through the year. So on your third nine weeks, 
you will begin this one. He did not use this book. I'm sure he looked through it, but we were combining this with another curriculum and I just needed something that would correlate and give him more credit. So, all right. So that will be done. Just reading, it tells you what to read. It tells you exactly what to do. What On the worksheets, it says the day, the chapter, the worksheet number, and all that is right here. So it, it's very clear in its instructions. And these are some of the ideas of what a worksheet would look like. They have some dig deeper. Okay. And this is all, all these are for the discovery and design. Now, when we get back to the next book, which is this one, the pages look a little bit different. They look like a lot more of more of an experiment, um, digging in and finding some answers. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm getting part, uh, parts list. It all looks like very basic stuff you would have at home or stuff you could do. All right, and then back here is the quizzes. This is quiz one, it's actually a little bit long. Some bonus questions and you can, um, I am one that, I am the teacher, not the curriculum. So. Me, if I'm, if this was not a high schooler, depending on, depending on my students, some may be all into this, but we could read this together, see what they've learned. Some of it, I think, is just single answer, so it may be very easy. And then in the back is all the answers. All the answers for the worksheets and all the answers for the quizzes. I just really like this curriculum for a middle schooler, especially, um, it's just simple instructions. Make sure they get their science in. I feel like maybe it's just me, but for me, this is one subject. It seems like it's hard to get in and not skip. So this would commit them to a schedule. Um, you know where they're at, they know where they're at, and I know that is always helpful for the student and we'll prepare them for high school. Let me let you look at this other curriculum. This is definitely an older book, but like I said, I'm familiar with these. And this is the world of chemistry. My son is actually using the world of biology this school year along with his biology 101, which I have done a video on that. I will link that below. But they do have this one available now, the Survey of Science and History Concepts. Even if you did not choose to actually do this, these books are so good by Tenor. J just very enjoyable. I remember the first time my oldest read through this. I started with him a little bit, and I really wanted to read it all because it was so good, but he just did it independently. But each one of my boys have been through this book, so this was what it used to lo look like, but now they have this one. And um, this includes the world of biology, the world of physics, and the world of mathematics. My oldest had this book too because he liked math and he just read them. So like I said, I'm familiar with a lot of the books that they have and they're all very good. The last thing I want to mention, and I did not know this and maybe you all do, but they have a master book academy. Um, which has some videos that go along with some of the science. I was looking at some chemistry and realized they had the lab videos for that, and they have videos for this. Now, not real familiar with it, but I'm a, you can check them out. I think they have a sample, and you may even be able to do a week or two free. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I know it'd probably be at least one video a week. It looked very interesting. Like, if I were to do this, say with my fifth grader in a couple years, I would be, I would be very tempted to add the videos in for fun. So I wanted to share this with you, just a quick look at. If you have any questions, please let me know below or any comments, or if you have seen the videos, would love to know your thoughts on them. 
And if you like homeschool content, please subscribe and I'll be doing some other look insides and reviews and just our homeschool journey. So, and if this video was helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up and we will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.